It's so good to be joined by my clergy colleagues for this important message about the High Holy Days. 75 years, more than 75 years, Temple Beth El has been a family, a community reaching for shared purpose. As the world has changed, our community has moved locations and neighborhoods. We have been a place of stability through wars and through economic depressions. Temple Beth El has always been about its people. People woven together through the peaks and through the valleys of life. People who've supported each other, laughed with each other, dreamed together, lived together, and grown together. In these unprecedented times, our tradition calls us to live out this heart of our community and to put our people first. For all of us, whether we are longtime members of the community or new to the community like me, one of the most essential aspects of the High Holy Day season is feeling enveloped in the presence of thousands of souls inclining together towards renewal. We have spent countless hours imagining the High Holy Days during COVID-19. We have come back again and again to the realization that the only way we can prioritize all of our people is to fit, keep physically distanced but tightly bound together in every other way. Our community is made up of so many different people of different ages, identities, and realities. More than ever, our choices need to be made with a collective perspective, linking all of us together in the heart of how we gather. We cannot create different classes of members, of those who can enter the building and those who cannot. Further, at a time when the most vulnerable members already feel deep anxiety and fear, we bear collective responsibility to make choices that elevate pikuach nefesh, the protection of life above all else. Alongside necessarily stringent health protections, this is the only decision that can uphold our ethical and moral and legal duties for the safety of all our people. We know that this is a heartbreaking decision for us all. For many of us, it will be impossible to imagine the High Holy Days without being in our sacred spaces together. But we also know that the only way to show how much each and every member of our community means to us is to elevate your safety above all else. We hope that we will feel a sense of pride of standing together as a community through this challenge, just as prior generations of Jews have in their own times of crisis. This year, we are going to show how far Temple Beth El reaches. Temple Beth El is each one of us and each one of you, and Temple Beth El is every home and every haven of our members. In Sacred Elements of the High Holy Days, the melodies, the teachings, and the spiritual work of the season, our team is spending these weeks building new and exciting ways to expand the High Holy Day experiences in ways that can be customized to your home, your needs, and your reality. This will not be just another Zoom. We will capture the meaning and the majesty of the High Holy Day experience as we reshape the challenge of this moment into an opportunity to come together in new and dynamic ways. Temple Bethel is far more than a building or a passive experience. We are a vital community with history, values, and aspirations. Above our ark, we read, Achen yesh Adonai b'makom hazeh, surely God is in this place. These words inspire us to look for the divine wherever we are, whether it is in our homes or in the broader community to seek a world that is fairer than this one is, a world that is more just, more equal, and whole. We are Temple Bethel, a house of God. Remember, with the power of community and God, you are never alone. Shana Tova, we'll see you 
at the High Holy Days.